Hello guys, so after we knowing the introductions, being able to install our WordPress local and everything, we are going to install a theme, like a theme and then we customize it as and so the theme simply means how the um the website should look, you understand? Yes. So that's basically what um you you will be talking about today. And one of the major things I want you to know is that the theme is just more like um the look of the website, you understand? So if you could see this image here. You will select the theme that will um, describe or indicate the look, how your website look. And most of the theme, themes come with uh, their own uh, their own features and other things to understand. So, yeah, without, I just want us to take it through. I just want us to just move to right away from it. So, we are going to open our local. So, if you have not opened your local, I'll urge you to open it right now so that we will all begin so anytime you open your local and select the kind of the website that you are you are going to edit you navigate to the top right corner here this one you see that um they would ask you to start a website without starting this meaning your website will not work code because it's it is um actually working mainly from your computer this one is does not depend on the internet so you need to start the website locally from your computer so that you'll be able to operate from your computer yes so i'm going to start it and then once it's ready it will tell you that it's ready so we're waiting for it to be ready yes now it's ready we can now move into our admin section you understand yes so whenever it's ready you, you see at the down here that one site is running you understand meaning the site is being enabled and it's ready to work yes so i've clicked on the admin right from here and then we will wait for the admin section to open from our browser yes so you will open it from our browser here yeah. so we're waiting for it to open but guys i want you to know one thing um anytime you want to go into your admin section you can type your website address you understand your domain name and then you just um you Type and then add WP admin, you understand? So when you, you type the WP admin and then you you put it in your browser, you can just tap and then you see that it will open from any browser that you use, you understand? I'm using Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge for now, you understand? So yeah, that's basically what that one too means. So I can open it from either here or from my Microsoft Edge account, you understand? So I'm going to open it from here. So I'm going to, I saved it yesterday or the previous ones i've saved my password already in my browser so i'm just going to um do it and then log into my admin section yes so this is basically our website and we have an empty website so anytime you want to check your website you right click here you when when anytime you want to check your website you just come here you see that visit website so you right click on your website then you open it in a new tab you understand it will open from the new tab here. Yeah, so it will open from the new tab. Now, um, our website is empty, you understand? And we are we, we don't have anything on it. So we are going to install the theme. So the theme will give us the look of the website and how um it should be, basically. So before you be able to add our pages, and, uh, our pages and other stuff to the website. So let me go back to the admin section here. So this is the admin section. I can dismiss this one. If I don't need it, I can dismiss all of them because they are giving me then maybe i will leave i'll leave this one maybe this activity or something yeah maybe only this one here so so now that the website is um empty i want us to do one thing before i would um actually take you through the the i would actually take you through the the thing so when you open your website you see that this is they, they've written something here this uh, just another website site, you understand? That is your your WordPress. Uh, that is your website name and the tagline, you understand? So you should be able to uh, take that WordPress thing off from there and then put your own there. You understand? So the rich blog may be um, a new page. So we are going to go to our dashboard. Then you go to settings. So you go to settings. You do it. Um, you go to readings. No, you will not go to readings. You will go to writings rather. Yeah. So the writings. We would see that uh, we go to general. Sure, sorry. Yeah, we go to general. So the tagline we will move it from there, and then we will put um 
So this is basically what um the blog is about. So anyone that would um actually go to the site, they will be able to know um that when I come here and refresh, you see that this is you see that a personal finance blog, you understand? Yes, so that's basically what the page is about. So we, I'll go back to the um the dashboard. Yes, so now we are going to add our now we are going to install our team you understand so when you want to install the team on a wordpress website you will go to appearance you understand so when you just over on the appearance a lot of things will come you see teams you see teams you see customize you see um why get you see menus you see background you see team editor you understand so i'm going to do teams there are a lot a lot a lot of teams out there that you can use but anytime that you want to use or you want to install any team you can go to your google account and then search for maybe now we are going to um, do a blog website so maybe a blog team understand so a blog team so maybe free wordpress blog team so you see that a whole lot of things will come then you choose from there but one of the most uh, the most easiest thing to do is that you go to your dashboard and then you see this plus sign meaning add things and all these ones if you need it you can use it they are they are default so you, and you can actually delete them too you understand so you can delete them too so i want us to use one thing called um ocean wp so when you click on the when you click on the um when you click on the plus sign or the additional sign you come here and then you search for the team that you want there are tons and tons and tons of teams that you can use for a wordpress website you understand so you can you choose the one that you need and the one that you are comfortable with and the one that um, actually fits your 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 web your web business that you create in the website for so i'm going to choose ocean wp well, this one is a popular team and most people use it you understand yeah so i'm going to use this one so whenever you have it you can preview it to to know more about it features or basically install it from here so when i install i'm going to activate it and you see the look on our, our site you understand you see the new look and everything on our site so we wait for it more to install Okay guys, so our team has been installed and now you have to activate it. So you click on activate, you understand? So you activate your this from So you activate our team. It's already installed, so you have to activate it so that we can be able to use it. Yes. Yeah, so now our uh, Ocean WP has been installed, so we can be able to customize it from here. You understand? So this is basically our new theme for the WordPress website. Have you seen how the the website looks now? This is how our website looks now. And before it was an empty website, and now you see how it looks. Yes. So you have to give it the look. You have to set the home page and everything, and you can customize it from here. So the customization is just like you giving um like the css uh, version of, of 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 your coding you understand so you give it the look the identity the, the the colors and everything that you want to do that's the customization so it's more like you giving it the right thing that you want so the customer you can add site icon and everything of which we'll be doing it in the next um section or in the next class so we will do we'll be creating menus um then we'll be creating pages and other things too for our website you understand so yes 